Hey again, YouTube. Alright, been a little while again. So, uh, finally got motivated after my roommate kind of made me come to a reality that I've been pretty much, lack of a better word, screwing around and being too afraid to make any progress or to jump to the next step. So, I uh, watched a couple of videos, looked up a couple of things on uh, this rear suspension I'm doing, this tub kit I'm doing, and saw a better way to, or I guess got a better idea of how to go about doing it. So I started welding anyways. Got my Lincoln out, went ahead and welded in these frames. There's another YouTuber that suggested to go ahead and get these welded in anyways, so I just tacked along the sides here, put some tacks there, and then went up the hump, get a little bit of rigidity. And I've got this side tech screwed down on this trunk drop. And this side is tack welded down it minus this section. I went ahead and just left it screwed because that'll be getting cut out for these. Let's see, actually I'll just show this. This uh, mini tub rail kit. So uh, those will end up going in, I think, right here all the way back to like somewhere in here and uh... Eh, here they are actually coated them with pickle picklix earlier keep them from rusting up let's see what they look like uh, I don't even remember which way these go in Yep, have no clue. I'm gonna have to go back to the video. <laughs> but anyways, it'll take up about that much space. Give you an idea. But anyways, so I decided to go ahead and get in, get these pieces, these trunk drops welded in place to hold the frame in, in spot. And next step will be going to mount the tubs, I believe. Um. The only thing that was kind of holding me up before was I wasn't sure about welding these in because I wasn't sure of the angle of this tail, whether it needed to flex out or in. But actually, once I welded in the frame and started laying it back in, put the gas tank in for alignment of these drop-offs and my clearance between the two, that pretty much set this. I didn't even think about you know the gas tank being in place. It's going to set this back piece in spot along with this lip. And it's going to pretty much line that up for me. So now that that's in, and I've got everything welded, minus the other side, I'm going to finish up welding that tomorrow. I'm just kind of burnt out right now, going to get something to eat. But uh, I've got the car lifted at the appropriate height for the uh, baseline, so I can get all my measurements straight. And... Once I get that other side welded, I'll start knocking these off because these have to come off for that frame piece. And I'll take my measurements and at least mark these frames. And I had to get this back section welded because once I cut it, there's not going to be anything to keep the back section of the frame in, in place once I cut out this section because that other frame piece is a weld and just pretty much replaces this section completely. I know I'll have to modify either these or the frame rails over there on the bench because they do not fit inside of these little sleeves so I don't know it'll probably be easier to modify those than it will to be these but I don't know um let's see I think that's about it for now I really don't know what else I've gotten done other than just this and of course you know I think I showed that my get a rigging last video but that's next on the agenda is to get these tubs in place once I get the tubs in and get that frame piece in I'll be able to start working on this quarter panel because I need that the outer wheel piece to kind of hold the the quarter in place give me a little bit of an alignment I'm gonna have to go pull the doors down from the attic which those are fun since I still have the glass in them they're quite heavy but I'll have to put those back on so I can get my quarter panel gap somewhat close it'll help out with that alignment then I get to get those quarters put in that'll be another fun bit but 
for now this is it and uh, I guess the next video you'll see those frames in place and then this piece chopped out because I got to cut in a good bit to get those mini tubs in it's a uh, I think it's a DSC Detroit speed it doesn't say or I don't see it but anyways I believe it's a DSC that says chassis works but I think the mini tub kit is a DSC it's off of CJ's I believe but uh, I found a good video right up on it her video tutorial and a, a forum that or a not a forum but a, I guess a walkthrough blog type thing where they actually mount on one of these and it's the same style kit so I'll give you all the update as the work continues once I get the next step done thanks everybody for watching and uh, again uh, thanks for anybody that subscribed to me